गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज हरचरण सिंह पी जी टी इंग्लिश कैम्ब्रिज इंटरनेशनल स्कूल दसुआ एंड आई होप यू ऑल आर फिट फाइन एंड हेल्दी एट योर होम्स एंड स्टडिंग वेल स्टूडेंट्स एज यू नो देर आर टू प्रेस्क्राइब टेक्सट बुक्स बाय द सी बी एस ई वन इज हॉर्नबिल एंड सेकेंड वन इज स्नैपशॉट्स both have been published by ncert so we were reading hornbill and uh, today we are going to start the second book that is snapshots students before we start the next chapter i just want to recap what we read yesterday yesterday we read poem childhood written by marcus nathan and that is from the first book hornbill we read in this poem the poet marcus nathan wants to know when he lost his childhood he uh, wonders whether he lost his childhood when he ceased to be 11 years old then the poet asks whether he lost his childhood when he realized that hell and heaven there are no places like hell and heaven anywhere on the earth that means when his thinking became abstract was that the time when he lost his childhood the poet wants to know whether he lost his childhood when he came to know about the adults according to the poet the adults they pretend to be very loving and very caring they talk a lot about love and uh, but the poet thinks adults only talk about love they do not act so lovingly here he just wants to show uh, the hypocrisy of the adults they say something else do something else they only pretend to be loving and caring but they are not so the poet wants to know whether that was the time when he understood that adults were hypocrites that was the time when he lost his childhood then the poet asks whether he lost his childhood when he started feeling that he himself was an individual personality he does not need to depend upon the thoughts of others when his mind started giving birth to his own thoughts he started making his own ideology and his own thought process the poet wants to know was that the time when he lost his childhood the poet is thinking that when he entered adulthood when his mind started making his own thoughts he did not need to depend any more on the thoughts of others he he had his own likes dislikes his own choices the poet wants to know was that the time in the last stanza the poet asks that he does not remember anything he only remembers his childhood and some memories of his childhood and he remembers the innocent face of an infant of a very small child the poet does not know where has his childhood gone he only remembers that innocent face of an infant the poet wants to tell he makes a guess that might be his childhood has gone to that forgotten place that is hidden in the face of an infant students uh, the next chapter that we are going to begin is from the second textbook snapshots and this is chapter 1 the summer of the beautiful white horse written by william sarwen this story is about 
two Armenian boys. They are from Armenia and uh, they belong to a family and that their, their family is called Garoglenian. Their family is very poor but is known for its trust and honesty. They never steal, they never tell a lie, they never cheat anyone, they are never opportunist. They are very honest, they are very trustworthy. There are two boys, Aram and Morath. They both are very fond of horse riding. But their family is poor, they cannot afford it. One day, the elder one, Morath, he comes with a beautiful white horse and uh, they both ride it. They both long to ride a horse. Morath had stolen a horse from a farmer a month ago. One early morning he brought it to the window of Aram and asked him if he wanted to ride the horse. They rode the horse for many days. When Aram gets to know the horse is stolen, he gets shocked. But discounts the stealing in his mind. One day the owner of the horse, John Byro, comes to Aram's house to complain about his missing horse to Aram's uncle Khosro. And one day on their way back to hide the horse on the deserted vineyard, they meet the owner and feel guilty at the end. The next morning, they return the horse back to the owner's bar. So here we go. Uh, in the beginning of the chapter, we read that Aram, he is a nine-year-old boy. Students, uh, this story has been narrated by Aram. Aram is the narrator of the story. He tells that in old back days, when he was nine years old and the world was full of every imaginable kind of magnificence means he was at the peak of his imagination and the life seemed to him very beautiful and uh, it was just like a dream and one morning very early in the morning when Aram was sleeping his cousin Morath he came to him at 4 in the morning and he started tapping on his window. He called Aram. Aram jumped out of his bed and uh, he could not believe what he saw out of the window. He started rubbing his eyes. Then he tells about his cousin Morad that his cousin Morad he is considered crazy by everybody in his family everybody every member of the family considers that Morad he was a very crazy boy he came to Aram at 4 a.m. in the morning started tapping on his window and asked him to come out when Aram opened the window he could not believe his eyes but when he saw outside, there was enough light that he could not believe that he was dreaming. He knew it was really uh, happening and Morad was in front of him. When Aram looked outside the window, he could not believe his eyes. He rubbed his eyes. The reason was his cousin Morad, he was sitting on a very beautiful white horse. Aram could not believe his eyes and uh, his Morad, his cousin Morad, he told him in Armenian language and he told him, yes, that was a horse and he was not dreaming. And uh, then he asked Aram if he wanted to write. Aram here tells that he knew his cousin Morath. He enjoyed being alive more than anybody else who had ever fallen into the world by mistake. That means everybody around 
every member of their family and uh, people who knew them they knew that morad was a very crazy boy he lives in his own style he does not care about other people what people think about him and uh, then aram tells that they both were very fond of horse riding and they always had a dream to ride a horse and now there was a horse in front of them aram tells that their first dream they both the cousins aram and morad they had a dream to ride a horse that was the first thing but the second thing was they were very poor and that is the reason when aram saw morad sitting on the horse he could not believe his eyes he rubbed his eyes and he thought he was dreaming aram's family was poor and had no money so it was difficult for him to believe in what he saw outside his house he belonged to the garuglenian family and that family was very poor they had been poor for a long time they did not even know how they were getting their food for themselves every day although the tribe was very poor but they were known for its trust and honesty for centuries they were honest proud and always believed in right and wrong no one from their family would ever steal anything or would take advantage of anyone in the world so that is the hallmark of their family that they are very trustworthy and very honest they never break the trust of anyone they never tell a lie they never steal anything they never make any kind of opportunity they always do the things with honesty and uh, riding a horse for them that was just like a dream and uh, that's why when aram saw morad sitting on the horse he could not believe his eyes aram was very happy he was so excited on seeing us on seeing such a beautiful and pleasant horse he said he could smell it he could hear it breathing but one thing that he could not believe that was what was the horse doing with morad or what morad was doing with the horse because he belonged to a poor family and it was not possible that any member of the garuglenian family could ever ride a horse and the horse was looking so beautiful and it uh, and it was not possible for any member of the garuglenian family to afford such a beautiful and pleasant looking horse then he thought that he must have stolen it but this thought was also uh, cannot be true that any member of the garuglenian family could not be a thief means no person no member of the family could ever be a thief that is not possible that morad would have stolen the horse because their family is known for its trust and honesty he stared at his cousin and then at the horse there was a religious motionlessness and witness in both morad and the horse as one charmed him and the other scared him he said he was attracted by the horse but he was afraid lest morad should have stolen it students what we read today i'm just going to recap that we are reading the summer of the beautiful white horse written by william sarwen this is the story of two cousins aram and morad they both are armenian boys 
and they belong to a family their family is garugalenian and that is known for its trust and honesty people know this tribe for its trust and honesty for centuries so this story has been narrated by aram he is a 9 year old armenian boy aram told that uh, in old good days one morning when he was sleeping it was very early in the morning and uh, the world was full of imagination and dreams he was at the peak of his imagination and he was enjoying his life to the brim it was very pleasant his cousin morad who is considered to be very crazy by all the members of their family his cousin morad came to his window and started tapping it was 4 am in the morning he called aram aram jumped out of his bed and still could not believe what he saw out of the window first he thought he was dreaming but he could see enough light outside and he knew it was not the dream it was the morning time the thing that he could not believe what he saw that was that his cousin morad was sitting at the back of a beautiful white horse aram rubbed his eyes and he he remained out of the window his head was out of the window morad assured him that he was not dreaming and he asked him in armenian language if he wanted to ride the horse then he should come out quickly morad was the type of person who enjoyed being alive but he could not believe that he was seeing a horse in front of him aram had always a dream of riding a horse and that was a wonderful part that he was actually going to ride a horse in reality he said the first uh, thing that they always wanted to ride a horse but the second thing is they belong to a very poor family their family garuglenian that was very poor but being poor they were still honest and trustworthy honesty and trust are their hallmarks people know them for their trust and honesty they any no member of the garuglenian family ever steals anything they never cheat anyone they never make any kind of opportunity they never break the trust of anyone but in being poor they did not know how they managed to get food for themselves every day although the tribe was very poor and they were known for their honesty for 11 centuries they were honest proud and always believed in right and wrong no one from their family would ever steal anything or would take advantage of anyone in the world Aram was very excited to see the horse because the horse was very beautiful and very pleasant. Aram told that he could smell and he could hear the horse breathing, but he still could not believe that Morad or anyone in the family could afford a horse. horse was very beautiful but what aram was doing with the horse that was unbelievable because any member of the garuglenian family cannot ever afford a horse then he thought if he has not he cannot buy it then he must have stolen it then he thought about the family that how a member of the garuglenian family could be a thief that is also not possible he looked at his cousin and then at the horse there was a religious motionlessness and wittiness in both morad and the horse and one charmed him and the other scared him he was attracted to ride the horse 
he wanted to ride the horse but he was afraid lest morath should have stolen it thank you